Right, welcome back to part 21 of my Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke. Um, last time we worked our way through that Silic Mansion, and this time we are going to go through the forest, because um, I want to get a bit more training up before I um, go to the gym, even though I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to the forest after I beat the gym, but I think I'll just go to the forest first, just to get some more training, because I'm going to be worried about the level of this gym compared to like the last few. I don't think I'm going to be too good enough level and I don't even know what type of gym it is either so it's going to make things a bit more problematic so i will try to get a few levels up I'm presuming if I go for this far so I might end up being about evenish with the gym um, levels if not I may be still a bit over or under leveled I don't know it really depends the level of these guys okay you're not my bad where are you bugs in this forest can be dangerous um okay okay um, what do you, my Weedle isn't good enough here. Um, well, I have my equivalent of Weedle, which is my corner Weedle, but he's really useless, but I guess I can use him. So yeah, first Pokemon we found in here is a lovely little Venomoth. Um, I want to try and capture this, but I'm kind of worried about using Ed because he might KO it, and there's a bit of a level difference. So let's go to highlight because none of his moves seem to be able to KO anything in one hit. Um, even if we got a crit, it probably wouldn't kill. So let's go for Horn Attack, Horn Attack again. Let's go for Tackle just in case he decides to crit with Horn Attack. Okay, for Poison Sting, because it's probably weak in a teeny tiny amount. Uh, let's try for a Great Bow, so it has a bit of high HP and, well, I never even caught there uh, without any speed. Um, I didn't even come close to really catching it there, did it? Um, so let's go for Poison Sting. It's Poison Sting a bit more until it's um, a little bit weaker and I could try capturing it again and oh a critical hit um, luckily it lived up barely now great but why don't you want to be caught you're worse than the onyx with, um, we used to do pokeballs instead with like plenty of them instead of wasting all my great balls and yay finally caught it now oh bit of the poison bug poke poison bug poison moth pokemon and now who should I name this little cute little venomoth after now I would name it Matt if Matt if I didn't already name someone after May, and if May wasn't actually already dead either, um, poor May, poor May. Um, could name it Lambs, I guess, but I want to try and name it someone else if I can. I know, um, let's go for the K, lowercase, um, I, N, N, E, A, O, it's a B, um, A, yeah, that's an A, Kinius, um, or as I was about to put there, um, Kinibix, Kinibix, Kinibix. That's just something awesome. Can we X? Um, hey, you dare challenge me? Um, no, I didn't. You challenged me, my friend. You challenged me. Um, I don't want to keep it in here. Let's get someone else with some experience. Let's get a shark tamer. Um, the thing about it now, we can't actually do that much to Parasite, can I? Um, I could poison sting it and I could back it. I could dig, but it's four times resistant to that, so that's not good. And, Currently, Shark Tamer is having a very, very long nap against this silly evil parasite. who's done a good amount of damage there. I'm gonna have to heal him up now. I um, don't want him to die, especially to a silly little parasite such as this. Um, let's see here. Start to help. Um, yeah, let's go over poison things. So we could poison it. Oh, we did poison it first. Try poison. Now we're paralyzed, which is pretty good. Meaning we can actually only do make call wet and get put back to sleep. So. That's good, just then go for some wrath and poison spam I guess. Um they said prevent some attacking for most of the time when I'm um, constantly got them in a rat, so rat is just such an evil move that it will do that. Um what are you gonna do? Um kill from poison, so that's one Pokemon down. But here's a cipher. Hmm. Let's go to Gazuki, I think. Uh, maybe Connor? No, let's go to Gazuki actually. Um Seeing as Gazuki can fly and get created by a slash and almost die to it and then create about go for fly, so um that was pretty good. Um it was quite close there. Um don't really like when you get hit by crits like that. Crits being one of the most evil things in the world. Anyway, who's the lowest level Connor is, so I'll put him up front. Then highlights level twice in as well. Um really need to try and get everyone else up a few more levels apart from like Shark Tamer and Ed who are probably the two strongest and then Hoyalaya and Connor can you bomb and then Gazuki and Joe are kind of like in the middle they're okay but they're not great but well, cause they're probably better if they had higher levels they are both pretty good Pokemon at least Hoyalaya at the moment I should probably just get around to evolving them with the Moonstone and then he might actually become good um, 
And Connor, Connor, Connor just doesn't want to learn any good moves, does he? Um, let's just see Joe, seeing as he's the lowest level Pokemon I've got, who is not weak to confusion, which Butterfree's always seem to have, and now he's paralyzed. I uh, thought so, um, Hyper Fan would have killed, but at least we have a quick attack to get rid of it anyway. A mushroom. Hmm, what did Mushroom do? Um, I don't remember if Mushrooms were in the original games or if it was something randomly added in it. The tiny little player, uh, that might be like a healing item or something. Maybe I have to give someone mushrooms and they're like, Yay, I'm looking for mushrooms, give me a mushroom and I'll give you something nice. Like a random TM or something and yo, 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 yo. Well, this is a very bizarre bug catcher and um, just yoing at me. Um, as you do when you meet someone in the forest, you just start yelling, yo, 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 yo. And wow, Butterfree is able to take that ice moon pretty well, but it's I'm in whirlwind now. Which Ed can laugh away very easily at him. Oh, Connor, Connor leveled up. Well done, Connor. Let's click Connor to get some Connor on Connor action. Yeah, let's go for Fury Attack, which isn't really doing much damage at all, is it? Um, obviously, if I could get five times, that would go good. Even four and three. Um, no, Connor's into like hitting three times, not four, which should be a lot nicer. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Just chill up a bit now and. Okay, that's because I'm going to go for Rage now, isn't it? And that's doing a first 79, um, roughly a bit below 40, I guess, is half. So I should be able to live another one. I first it was in green heat instead of yellow at the time. And yeah, we'll barely live there. I'm still going for a crit. I don't think it, even if I had five times, I don't think I would have killed there. I was going to Ed because, well, Ed could do that very well and just laugh at that, um, very evil P drill who's higher level than mine, Connor, and yeah. We'll get into Venomoth, and wow, Venomoth's pretty bulky, and the Pokemon here are a bit strong as well. Hopefully not too much stronger than the gym leader um, of the town we've already left. Um, which, I'll get back to it. I was sort of part to see what's in any of this forest anyway, plus I could just like, fly around now since I've already started going through here. Um, at least providing I find a town, I don't know where we're actually going to end up going after this forest, because I don't think the map really... Um, gives you much indication of where you want to come out from the forest and it's like there's a forest here um yeah you may end up like a wee miles over there um so yeah see okay that was just one way well venonat i was just gonna call venonat instead of the venomoth obviously venonat does evolve into venomoth but having a venonat for a little while would have been quite nice you know, I'm presuming as soon as it leveled it, it probably would evolve. I can't remember what level it evolves at, but I'm presuming it's maybe somewhere in the 20s, early 20s. It could be level 30 or something, I don't know. I'm really bad at um, how Pokemon evolve again. Um, well, at least the play evolves. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Now I just run. Okay, I can't escape. Um, which I run, I can't escape. Okay, careful hit. Um, I've just switched to someone, let's just go to Ed, because Ed could just completely annihilate this evil little cypher and then we can show it who's boss by not letting me escape him. And, yeah, um, I'm thinking I thought the cypher paralyzed me, but I was already paralyzed from earlier, so, um, that's pretty good. And, yeah, I don't know how long this forest is, let's see. Um, I'm just going to switch Ed to the front and now, just to... Try and get rid of things a lot quicker. Can't be bothered about all these wild battles. You know, part of the reason I came in here was to um, try and train a bit and then get a trade stone. Okay, we have a staircase here. Uh, I'm not sure where this is going to take us. And what if we have like the other route down here as well? So I'm not really sure where this is going to take us, but whatever. And B drill, the bar. Okay, what? Okay, okay. Oh, wait, which is kind of nice. Going for rage now. I kind of wish I could talk on her boots because um, Ed leveled up. Okay, we've got either another true sex already. Hey, wait up, what's all the hurry for? Um, let's see here. Um, Beedrill, we're going over Pen Missile, it's not much a problem. The rage and everything, waterfall, and yeah. Um, he wasn't very tough, was he? Well, I guess I was using Ed, so Ed just makes everything easier. You know? Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Many more, blah, 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 and then we'll talk to you again here. Um, old scary man. Can you tell me if it's actually that? Yeah, let's go through that forest, mate. Um, yeah, mate. Mate, do you want to go through the forest? Right, we're on Route 57. From the looks of it, I don't think I've been here before, but, um, I need surf. Um, I don't have surf, I can't even remember if I can even use surf um, yet, so yeah, that's that's not good. Um, maybe, oh, now the forest is all green. 
suppose it's a lot better green than it does blue. Um, okay, now we have another um, Beedro, let's go for Warp Ball, Tomato, that's not very good that much. Oh, to me, oh, at first, still not going to kill you because it's all oh, critical hit. Still not really doing that much. Yeah, because Ed is just awesome, like, oh, what? What? Where are we? What? what? Where? This is a weird looking place. Um, okay, um, well, this is pretty long, isn't it? Not as long as I thought it was going to be. Um, what? Caught you by surprise, mate. Okay, he seemed like saying mate. I don't know why. No one in the games even said mate. Okay, we've got an evil little raticate here. Um, let's just kill Ed up a bit because Ed can handle this very easily. Um, he's going to go for focus energy. I'm going to go for waterfall. Hyper Fang, I'm fairly paralyzed. Um, yeah, raticate's out of there. Um, Actually, guys, in our Pokemon here as well, which is quite good. Let's just go to Shirt Tamer now. Uh, so for Hyper Fang, not really gonna do much. Um, Paralyze isn't good though. Um, getting a few wraps off. Let's try Poison thing, I guess. Mm, no, I'm gonna Poison it. I could dig, but I'm kind of worried about dig not working. So let's gonna go back to Ed. You want muff a bit? Um, you Ed up and go back to Ed. Um, I really need to level everyone else up because the levels are actually more matching Ed and Shark Tamers at the moment. I never know if there's a few levels below, but still, you need a bit more levels for it now. Um, Raticate, Quick Attack, Waterfall, and Goodbye Raticate. Um, are there any Paralyzed Heals as well, or Full Heals? I don't think I've seen any Full Heals though. Um, let's see, where are we? Where are we? We're in Route 62, which I'm pretty sure I've not been in either, so. Yeah, we can probably capture something in here and um, quite easily if we desire, um, which we shall be doing. Um, yeah, we're in the so, um, Let's see, what do you say? I want your money! Um, okay, oh, you're a gambler. Um, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, a slow bro. Hmm, interesting. Gotta go for headbutt and I'm paralyzed. I'm going for confusion and I'm paralyzed. I'm gonna queue up. Okay, I'm good. Should I use my tail map first? My tail map is very important for. Why can I go? Okay, down map then bicycle. Um, not really going to be very helpful at all, is it? So I go for ground. So quite being very paralyzed and getting flinched and everything. Um, please don't have slack off or recover or something. Ooh, that was a close one. Got a crit there. And um, we'll use Kangas Can. Who should we go to? Hmm, who can handle a pretty little Kangas Can? Um, let's go to Hoylet and see if he can handle it. Comet Punch. Mm, wow, hit pretty time. Wow, just wow, Violet. Wow, you could barely do anything at all, good gang. I need to poison it if it can. Critical hit, no. And rage again, poison sting. Oh, come on, you need to poison it. It's going to keep raging. And yeah, that's not good. Rage again, poison sting. No, why aren't you poisoning it? You should be able to poison it. And then it's going to be like, get poisoned every turn. and. Everything will be a lot better. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if anyone could survive such an anti quite powerful rage here, but the joke could take it fairly well. And um, let's just kill Ed up though, so I'm not sure um, how long Joe can maybe handle it for. Plus, he's paralyzed and stuff. Even though Ed's paralyzed as well, to be fair, but still, Ed should be able, maybe be able to handle it. Waterfall. Um, okay, that's pretty good. If I rage again, not too good there, but we still survive, so all is good in the world. And everyone is incredibly, incredibly weak at the moment. And we're running out of super potions. Um, wow, at 24 before they entered the forest, and now we're down to 5, 4, um, 3, and 2, and then we'll have 1 left after we use this one, so. That's not good. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find in here. Um, can find anything nice in here? Nice? Anything at all? Um, hello? Anyone in there? Um, oh, ooh, far fetch. Hmm, that's quite good. I guess it comes in use when Kazuki dies, and I'll use another flyer. Um, I'll just fly around with a far fetch, I don't know, but uh, it's still, still good for flying, I guess. Heart attack? Yeah, I'm not going to do too much damage. The thing I'm worried about is how strong and everything far fetch would be, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, now it's poisoned, which is good and bad, I guess. Uh, I'll try a Pokeball. Um, 
Yeah, we caught it quite easily there, so that's good. Yeah. What should we name it after? A uh, wild duck Pokemon. Hmm. Actually, it would have been better if I probably named you Gazuki and named Gazuki someone else. I don't know. Yeah, and let's see. Who should I name it after? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Let's go for K again. Um, I hope I could actually spell the name right this time. K E E L Y. Kili. Um, because why not? Everyone wants to name it Killy. Um, uh, yeah, so Killy, the pretty little farfetch. No idea if I'll use them or not. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just end the part here, and I'll see you next time.